was spent by the previous government. Question number nine, Andrew Williams. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Question to the Minister. Question to the Minister of Consumer Affairs. Has he seen any reports that New Zealand power prices have increased at twice the rate of most other countries? Mr. The Honourable Speaker. Craig Foss. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I have seen a number of reports on power prices, including reports that New Zealand consumers are increasingly taking advantage of greater choice and competition and are switching companies for a better deal, and that under the national government, consumers are far better off than the 72% or 8% per annum increase in power prices they endured under the previous Labour government, which may well have been twice the rate of other countries. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Andrew Williams. What steps is the government taking to address the widespread concern with rapidly escalating power prices, as is reported in the New Zealand Listener this week? Honourable Craig Foss. Uh, Mr Speaker, as far as it's uh, under my portfolio of consumer affairs, uh, most of that's actually a question to the Minister of Energy. But the uh, power switch programme, 70,000 New Zealanders have had the opportunity to switch power companies, power providers over the last two years. That's been a very, very successful programme, as well as increasing after-tax incomes for all New Zealanders and those on fixed incomes to help them pay uh, for their uh, power prices and their cost of living. Supplementary question, Andrew Williams. Given that power companies are making record profits despite falling demand for electricity, why are power bills so high? Speaker. Honourable Craig Foss. I thank the, the member for his support of the mixed ownership model. <laughs> Supplementary Boy, question. Point of order, Mr Speaker. Point of order. I didn't ask anything about the mixed ownership model. That didn't answer my question. Put the question again, please. And, uh... yeah. Given that the power companies are making record profits despite falling demand, why are power bills so high? Honourable Craig Fox. Uh, Mr Speaker, um, the large proportion of the New Zealand electricity in industry is currently owned by the Crown, the State, and under that model, which has seen very increased prices, particularly in the eleven years, the nine years of 72 per cent increase. Mr Speaker, that is one of the reasons. Supplementary question, Andrew Williams. Will the government assure the public that future electricity prices will not increase at a faster rate than the Consumer Price Index? If not, why not? Honourable Craig Foss. Uh, Mr Speaker, I note that the Consumer Price Index today I think came out at 0.9 uh, per annum. And, uh, Mr Speaker, after-tax incomes are actually increasing under this national government, uh, Mr Speaker to uh, help people afford their cost of living. Order, Mr. Speaker. Point of order, Andrew Williams. Uh, that was a simple yes or no answer re required. He didn't answer the question no, no. again. Well, it, the member can't demand a simple yes or no answer, but I accept the point that the, the question was not addressed adequately. Would the member please ask the question again? Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Will the government assure the public that future electricity prices will not increase at a faster rate than the Consumer Price Index? If not, why not? Honourable Craig Fox. Uh, Mr Speaker, that should be addressed to the Minister of Energy, but I can assure on recent track record, Mr Speaker, that under the National Government, power prices have increased about a third to ha half to a third of the rate under the previous Labour Government. Question number 10, Ian McKelvey. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Ministry for Primary Industries. 